Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. This video is for the beginner, someone just getting started using Photoshop. I know when I first started to use Photoshop, the concept of layers was foreign to me and how layer masks worked with layers just added to the confusion. And I really didn't understand what layers did in Photoshop, why they were necessary, and what you could do with them. So in this video, I'm going to give you the very basics of layers to hopefully give you a better understanding of what they're used for in Photoshop along with the layer masks. Now I have this image here. This is actually a really old image of my youngest son, Joe. He's an adult now, but as you can see, he's in the park sitting in the middle of this bench. I also have another image. It's my son, Joe, sitting on that same bench, but he's on the far left-hand side of the bench. So we just have single layers in both of these tabs and I want to put them together. So we're going to have two layers in one tab. So I'm gonna to go to this image and I'm going to use the move tool. The keyboard shortcut for the move tool is the V key. V is in victory and it's the top tool over here in the tool well. So we're just gonna click on this layer, hold the left mouse button and then drag it up to that first tab and then hold it over that image. And I'm gonna hold the shift key down while I let go of the left mouse button. That will drop it right in the middle so it's perfectly lined up. Now you could see when I did that, that layer that I just dragged over there totally obscured the layer below it. If we look over in the layers panel, you could see we have that as layer one. Layer one is the layer we dragged over. It's over here on the second tab. I dragged it over there and it's totally covering up layer zero. I'll turn layer one off and you could see that layer zero is there. Now, if I turn layer one back on, this is where masking comes in. You could use masks to have parts of other layers come through. So down here below the layer panel at the very bottom, you'll see a little rectangle with a circle in the middle. That's to add a mask. So we're gonna add a mask to layer zero. I'm gonna click on it. And by default, it will add a white mask. Now, if you watched any videos of Photoshop training, uh, you might have heard the teacher say, white reveals, black conceals. What that person is talking about is the mask. We have a white mask here. Now, white reveals. What it means is it's allowing this top layer, the layer that it is associated with, to be revealed. So basically, it did nothing in this case. We just added the mask, but nothing has changed. It's just allowing that top layer to re be revealed. I could turn off the layer and still see the layer below it, but still we haven't done anything. Now, the second part of that little saying is black conceals. So that's implying if we put black on this layer mask, it will conceal this top layer. So a quick way to put black onto that mask, there's a lot of different ways to do it. We could invert it. We could go up to the menu and do things, but one way, is to use a keyboard shortcut that will add this bottom swatch. You can see we have swatches here. The top is white, the bottom is black. If I wanna add that bottom color to this layer, what I could do is use the keyboard shortcut of holding in the control or command key, and it's control if you have a PC, command if you have a Mac, and hitting the delete key. And when I do that, it fills that layer with black. And you can see as soon as I did that, it conceals the layer that it's associated with. So now, if I turn it off and on, you can see nothing's happening because it's totally blocking out that layer, allowing layer zero to show. So very basic, some masks. White, white reveals, black conceals. So we're concealing that top layer. Well, there's more to it than that. Let's say, I wanna fill this with something other than white or black. Let's go up to edit, down to fill, and you can see that we have a fill dialog and there's 50% gray in this dropdown. Let's fill it with 50% gray and see what happens. So I'll click okay. Now you could see part of one layer is coming through while the other part of the other layer is showing through. So shades of gray will vary the amount of opacity of the actual mask. So now, being 50% gray, we have exactly half of one layer showing through and exactly half 
of the other layer showing through. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go over here in the tool well, and I'm going to get the burn tool. The burn tool will darken something. So every brush stroke will make something a little bit darker. And now there's three different things we could click on in the layers panel. We could click on layer zero, we could click on layer one, or we could click on the mask for layer one. So make sure you're clicked on the mask for layer one. I have the burn tool. So I'm going to make some of that gray a darker gray by using the burn tool. So I'm going to paint right here. And when I paint right there, you can see I'm making that bottom layer, layer zero, come in a little bit stronger. So we'll bring in that. All right. Now, next to that burn tool in that same little cubby in the tool well over here, we have the dodge tool. The dodge tool will make something lighter. So we're still clicked on that layer mask that is gray with a little bit of a different shade of gray in the middle. I'm going to paint this now the dodge tool on the left hand side. Now it's making this image or part of his head at least come through a little better. Now what exactly did we do? Let's take a look at that mask. I'm going to hold the Alt Option key and it's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, and click right on the mask. And now it's showing the mask. So you can see we have 50% gray almost everywhere. So that's allowing half a layer zero to come through and half a layer one to show. But in the middle, I I burned it so it's darker gray. It's actually black in parts. So now that it's black, it's allowing all of layer zero to show through. This is the bottom layer because it's black conceals. It's concealing the layer it's associated with. Then over here, I dodged this part. So I made it lighter gray. As a matter of fact, I made it, I dodged it so much I made it white. So that reveals, that reveals the layer it's associated with. So it's allowing all of layer one to show right where I painted. And that's why we got that effect. Now I'll hold that Alt Option key in again and click on the layer mask again. And we're back to what we see. So again, I could just turn that off and you can see we're right back. Because turning that off turns off not only layer one, but it turns off the mask for layer one. So it's allowing all of layer zero to come through. So those, that's really just the very basics of layers. There's so much more you could do with it. As a matter of fact, I have a video where I use the two images we used in this video and a third image of my son sitting on the far right side of the bench. And what we did in that video is I demonstrated how you could create one image with my son sitting in all three places on the bench. I'll have a link to that video in the description below this video. And I'll also have a little flag pop up in the top right hand corner of this video with a link to that video. Watch that video to learn how to do that with layers and layer masks. And you could download the images for free to practice on your own. So check out that video. I hope this video helps you just get an idea of the very, very basics of layers and layer masks, because really that is the foundation you need to really understand Photoshop. You need to understand layers and layer masks, and hopefully this will help you to that end. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.